What's up world? It's me Nes. Welcome to Nes Telly and today we are celebrating a hundred subscribers. Yes, baby. Cheers to you. I have a nice drink in here. Hopefully you'll be able to guess what it is. And okay, at the end of this thing, you tell me what it is at the end of the video. Soda. <laughs> My daughter has given me away. Uh, yes, it is soda. It's actually Coke, right? I don't take Coke regularly, but I haven't had Coke in like forever. So I... I, and I didn't want to go out and buy another drink. I'm just not ready for this. But yes, this is a, a coke. I, this coke in a very fancy glass. <laughs> anyway, cheers to you for being so wonderful to me. Okay, now let me explain why I do what I do. I do this because it's important to me that we have a better country. It's actually it, to me it's like it's a nationwide or continent-wide or worldwide. Um, uh, drive that I'm going for. The idea in the end is that we get to the point where we are more knowledgeable, where we are smarter as a people. Because, look, believe it or not, a lot of people, a lot of things you see on social media, a lot of people say it's only in Nigeria this happens. They're like, that's not true. A lot of things that you believe is only in Nigeria is because you're choosing to cap your mind on where you are now. It's hard to look outside from inside. But if you look around, people are, a lot of people are facing similar things like us. Some people have faced even worse. But I think people that have faced worse are people that we should watch. How do they come out of it? If they came out of it, then we definitely can come out of it. But I think it comes a lot from a lot of doing, doing research, gathering as much knowledge as possible, reading, 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 reading. So if you read and I read, you send it to someone else, they read, send it to another person, and everybody starts to read, you realize that we're going to have more smarter leaders, wiser leaders, better communities, and better individuals. Period. I'm telling you, that's going to happen. If we can just read, like not reading to pass an exam, but reading to, to make changes, to get creative in, in solving problems, that affect us. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it and it's going to be totally worth it. So yes, that's why I do what I do and it's very important. So again, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Thank you for constantly coming back here and watching and watching and watching. You are wonderful and cheers to you. Long life, prosperity and plenty of wisdom on top of your matter. Cheers. Uh -huh. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is, okay, now during this period we're on lockdown. I wonder how the lockdown is going for you. Easter wasn't the best for me. I felt very down during Easter, but um, I'm thankful. I'm better now. I felt very down during that Easter period. I don't know. I just felt emotionally I was down. I was all over the place. But the beauty of uh, what, what, what I've learned so far from reading is that when you're emotional, it's not the best idea to, it's not the best time to react. It's not the best, best time to, um, to, to get all jabbering, start talking and all that. Like it's the best time to just calm down, reflect. Decide what you're doing before you start talking again. Learn to be more calculated in the way you put yourself out there. So I, I basically didn't do a lot of talking and all that. But for me, it was not the best during Easter. But I'm thankful that, you know, I'm better now. So I'm able to actually talk about this now. But during this lockdown, the major thing I'm seeing that is a problem is that more and more people are getting more and more emotional. Especially negatively because you're seeing more and more conversations like on whatsapp groups and, and on uh, Facebook groups or Instagram. You know, you, you're seeing more and more things that you don't know whether they are true or not. Do you understand? Some of them I actually tried to do my own share of research and I don't, like, I don't, I don't see the basis, but these people are saying it with all their hearts. I like, you ask them, when you ask them some serious questions, okay, so this person, where did the person come from? What school did the person go to? Blah, blah, blah. And they say, eh, me, I don't know. It's just where I saw it. That's why they saw it. Like, just because it's written, you assume that it's, anyway, see, I talked about receiving social media since when I talked about separating facts from fiction. Funny enough, I did that like two or three months ago. So I'm going to put the link here. I'm going to put the link uh, in the description box of this video so you can look at it and maybe you can decide whether it's important for you to at least know what you're saying before you say it. Because in the end, you cannot say because somebody gossiped to you and you gossip to someone else. That means that you're not liable for that gossip because you are. You follow to spread the story. So if it's stupidity, don't follow and spread, spread stupidity. That's just my point right now. Okay? So we need to be careful. So that's and right now what I want to talk about. Another thing is that yes, I think at this point it's important for us to fill our, our minds with knowledge. We've been giving two extra weeks. Right now it's like I think it's like nine days or so, nine or ten days that we're at. Honestly, if you have a, if you're able to watch this video right now, I'm pretty sure you're able to read a book. Go to YouTube. There are two hour long books, four hour, five hour, six hour, seven hour, eight hour. There are even eleven hour books. There are several. So just Find one and start listening to it. You don't have to find a physical book. If you have one, that's good. But just try and take, instead of sitting down and looking through um, social media, reading whatever crazy thing or watching some crazy thing, I think it just makes a lot, a lot, more, lot, 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 lot more sense that you read a book instead. Honestly, that's, this is me personally from me to you. Okay, so just read, gather more knowledge because whether this lockdown stops now or it stops at the end of the year or it stops end of next year, it's going to stop. That's the deal. It's going to stop and you're going to have to continue your life. Are you going to go back to what you were before now? 
you get some percentage like how you should learn a new language you should you should i don't i don't actually think like i think those things are good me i've been saying i want to learn a new language i still want to get around around doing that but i just think that you know don't give yourself too much of a it must be a new language that you learn there are other things that you can learn if this is hard for you go and do another one right now you actually have your time that's the fact apart from those that are, are doing some people have to work out on necessity but if you're not you actually have time. Your, your time. your time is yours right now. There's no, I don't really have time. If only I had the time. Right now, your time is yours. So please, okay? Take the time. This is the time to pack your head with as much knowledge as possible. So that when you go back out there and the lockdown is over, you're able to do well. Again, cheers. <laughs> okay, so someone, a friend of mine complained recently about the aeroplane that's always flying over my house. Okay, I have a reason why that happens, but I feel like if I start telling you the reason, it's going to be an excuse. So I'm not going to make excuses, but I'm going to come up with a solution where, because I stay near the airport, I cannot stop the planes from coming and going or helicopters from coming, coming and going. But here's what I'm going to do from now on, is that anytime I see, anytime I hear a helicopter <laughs> pass, I'll start singing a song and I'm going to start dancing, okay? And I, you know, I'll dare you to come and join me and, do the, and dance the song with me. So that, you know, we can do a dance for a few minutes, you know, enjoy ourselves, rock and roll a little before we continue. Then once the sound stops, we continue our video. That I think will be fun. Okay, so that's it. So, yeah, my daughter gave out this thing. The other thing I wanted to say was, what was I drinking? It's you know what is it? What am I drinking? Soda. Mm, soda. Okay, I just want to take opportunity and thank you. It's you know, it's been the best joining me in my videos and charming you guys to tomorrow. And see how well she behaves she is. Usually she would be like running up and down and shouting to the but she's not doing that. I also want to take the opportunity to thank my king. Then thank a whole lot of the whole lot of people I want to say thank you to for this period. Like for for me getting here. I mean why I have up to 51 videos now. Okay. 51 videos. <laughs> okay, so fresh more fresh projects coming up. I am I've stopped talking about sign language. It's been a while. I should go, go back to that. And then I also want to do like a language thing. I'm trying to get people to learn more indigenous languages in Nigeria. But all that we're going to talk about, I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start talking about it a little later. But honestly, I am so thankful to you for being here. And please, you know, feel free to tell your friends about it. And then please, if you haven't already, check out my other videos. And then please like the video, spread the love, okay? Show me some love. And you know, a nice quick conversations down there, I would accept too. Thank you. So subscribe if you haven't already. And... Here's to the beautiful weekend. Drink to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling.